Hi. So a few weeks back, I was looking at Morgan Adams' video decorating her office. She's my best friend, she just doesn't know it yet. And yo, when she turned on that LED purple light bulb, I was amazed when she did that photo collage. I said, oh girl, I want to do that to my room. So here I am, I'm going to attempt to do something similar to hers. And <laughs> so I watched her video again and really analyzed the way she placed the photos on the wall or what color she used. She's so pretty. And luckily there was like a second or two of just the whole wall alone. So as you can see, it has pinks, purples, blues, black, gray, and white. And I wanted to do eight by eight. I wanted to do squares like her, <laughs> but it's $4 to print each picture. Or I don't know if I didn't look right or what, but everywhere, Walgreens, CVS, Costco. It was, it was up there. It wasn't like a dollar for each picture. <laughs> Why did I say $4 for each picture? Anyways, I'm not gonna pay $3.99 for each photo. So I decided to get creative and analyzed what options I had, which were drawing each picture. That would take a little too long. I'm still thinking about drawing a few, but not every single one of them. So what I did is I went to the thrift store, favorite place to shop at, got this jacket from the thrift store in the men's section. I went to the store and I luckily found a lot of books for really cheap. So let's start off with this collection of Planet Earth that I found. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books for 75 cents each. I just wanted to have purple photos, purple pictures, and also blue, purple, blue, black and white pictures with a little bit of pink, maybe red, or maybe green, but majority purple and blue black and white so i just cut out all the purples and there weren't sadly there weren't a lot of purple pictures well that's blue <laughs> look at this beautiful sunset so these were the blues we got this one well i'm not going to show each and every one of them and i found another book a photography book which was oh girl come to me photography i love photography the photography one looks something like this <laughs> And this one was, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was less than a dollar. And look at the beautiful pictures it has. Duh. And what I did with this one is I went over it as well, cut out all the blues and the pur purple pictures. I cut them out and did a collage in a square. And this is a final product. So, yeah. so these are the purple ones I did, I found. Sadly, there weren't a lot of purples either on that book, which sucks because I want the wall to be majorly purple than more purple than blue, but I guess it's fine. We'll see how it turns out. And we saw the blues and I found another book. I found this book. <laughs> this one was $1.50. It was half off. Oh, no, no. This was $3. $3. And I did the same as what I did to the others. These are the photos that I cut out from that book. And I love the matte finish on these ones. Matte finish makes a really good canvas for pastels. So I'm thinking it's about drawing something purple in on this one, on the dark ones. This is how the wall looks like right now. Come on, I'll show ya. All right, so that's the board with the smiley face on it. That's my towel that's drying. That's the Frida painting, Viva La Vida. And that's what's on there. So there's a lot of dust on the wall. I'm going to start off with removing the items that are on the walls and then dusting the walls off. That way it'll make the taping process easier. Forgets English. Okay, so let me proceed with dusting the walls.
Well, I should have probably removed the nails first, but it's never too late. I'm pretty sure this is not safe. Don't attempt this at home. Oh, God. There's one up there. Let me see if I can reach it. Yay! Got it! Let me also show y'all the pictures I saved on my Pinterest. I don't know where to start at, to be honest. Okay, let me just start. So I need to mention that the double-sided tape is, is kind of hard to stick to the wall. So I'm just pounding the wall so it can stick real good to it. Date. So I ran out of purple pictures, so I'm just going to draw them. The next day. Okay, so for the first drawing, I want to do a neon sign, attempt to do a neon sign with pastels. And I've never done this, so we'll see how it goes. But this one, I want it to be long because I want it to really show that it's up there and I don't want it to be nothing small. So I taped three of these matte papers from the One Direction book. I don't know how it's gonna turn out or if it's going to turn out. Yeah, isn't this so beautiful? Look at that. Just the monochromatic of the colors, of the lack of colors. First, analyze how purple neon sign looks like. Oh, this one's cute. We got some lips. Okay, I definitely have some pink. So, first of all, I haven't figured out what, what I want my sign to say. So I'll probably just sit here for 10 minutes trying to figure that out, just like my life. I would do, I'll go with happiness. It's a long lip. Next, I'm going to use this one. It's like a very pastel pink. <laughs> Lastly, I'm gonna go with this purple and then spread the color This definitely did not turn out how I was imagining it, it was going to look like. For the next letter, so I'm going to attempt a different color, color order. Yeah, let's see how it turns out. I'll be right back. Um, I'm gonna do this off camera. I'm back. And the finished product looks something like this. Oh, on camera it kind of looks nice. Up close it doesn't. I tried my best to make a happiness purple neon sign. And here it is. Alright, now on to the next drawing. Next day, and I've done a series of 
purple pictures. I'll show y'all some here. Life, some flowers, a purple heart, rose. Continue with the semicolon. Purple clouds, life. So I'm done, but I decided that I do not like the green that is right there. This other one that's right there. So I'm just going to cover them with these blue pictures. And now the wall is finished and I love it so freaking much. I love all the purple hues, the blues. There's more purple because that's how I wanted it to look like. But I don't know if I want to add some pictures on the walls. Some in the center here, in this line, down this line, and also like across this line and that line. So I'm just gonna put a few and see how it looks like. If I like it, I'm gonna keep it on there. If I don't, I'm gonna take it off. So I finished the the door. That's how it looks like. I don't know how I like it. I don't know if I want to add more stickers on the middle of each rectangle or if I should just keep it like that. For now, I'm just gonna keep it like this because it took me so much work to do to stick the squares around the rectangles of the door. I like the idea of the door being without the stickers on it, but I also like how the stickers make it look. <laughs> I'm not making any sense, but I like both ways. I don't really care, but that's how it looks like. I love it so much. It looks so badass. Should I leave the door like that or should I take off the stickers? I found these battery operated lights that I will be taping around the door. Around like, around the door. Like, Right there. And I don't know if it'll make a difference the lining, but I'll just I'll just give it a try. Awesome news, my purple LED light bulb came in. So that'll be the final touch for this wall. And I have this lamp for now. I'm trying to look for more for a black industrial lamp, a standing lamp like this. I think this one is fine, but it's not mine. <laughs> well, I guess I'll have to wait till it's nighttime to see how it looks. So I'm drinking tea. Oh no, I spilled some tea on my paper. How do you say chamomile? Is it chamomile or chamomile? Hey Google, how do you pronounce chamomile tea? That's pronounced chamomile tea. Chamomile. Okay, thank you. She doesn't respond with a you're welcome, which is sad.